Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the drive wheel on this Eufy Robovac model number 25C made by Anchor. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the collection bin, put it off to the side, and turn the vacuum cleaner off. So there's a power button right here. Click that, whoops, click that to off. Now I'm going to show you how to replace these wheels. So this is more of a steering wheel that keeps the front loose. That just pries off. There's really nothing in there. These have got the electric motors to do the driving. You may get stuff clogged up in here. You may get beeps telling you that the drive wheels are broke or something. There are some screws we can take off here. I'm gonna show you one side. We're gonna take this drive wheel apart and see if there's anything we can take apart. You're gonna need a number one Phillips and like a straight slot, really small straight slot. We gotta get, these are can be, these brushes can be kind of tricky to pop off. We've got that off. Now let's take all one, two, three, four screws and they will come out when they're loose. So I have seen like hair ties, things get caught up in here and you can't get it out. You can take this apart. So you may not have to replace the wheel, but at least you can take it apart and see what's going on inside there. Okay, so I've got all four screws. Now it's a little tricky, there's a spring holding it in. So you gotta kind of pry it up, just, and that's a sensor, so be careful right there. It doesn't wanna come out, but it can come out. There's a spring we're gonna have to disconnect. Okay, so once you pry it up just a little bit, you're gonna hear like a spring that's keeping you. Okay, then there's these little tabs, so it should pry up. Now there's, a, see the spring right there? Now don't break that, we just need to disconnect that spring. There's a hook. See that hook? That's what that spring connects to. So don't break that tab. There is an electrical connection here, but that's, that spring connects right there. So I've researched for, the, this is like an assembly. It's got the electrical motor and everything all in one. I've not seen, that people are selling replacement parts on eBay, like they probably took apart an old one but I've not seen a replacement uh, motor that they're selling like on Amazon or something. But maybe they sell them on the Eufy website and this one does have an L on it for the left. So this cover here is attached to the, to the wheel. So that electrical connection, it will come off. There's no tab that you have to release, but just be very careful. It, it, it's kind of tricky. So really hold the wires as you're pulling it off. Hold these wires, you don't want those being pulled there. So here we've got the assembly that does have this traction. This thing can come dislodged or off, but it, it is on there pretty good. So I'm gonna take all six of these screws off on the side and see what we can get in the side here. Okay, I've got all six screws. It's like a cover. So I'm not sure they're really wanting us to get inside there. It looks like a sealed unit with a bunch of gears and grease. You could get something in there, but it looks pretty well sealed. Like, I don't think anything's going to get in there, but you could have a bad gear. Maybe they give you a part number for the gears, but there's what it looks like. I'm not going to go any farther. You could disconnect the motor right there. There's two screws. It looks like the motor would come off. I'm just gonna put that back on. It kind of, you had to snap it off. Kind of snaps on. Okay, so now let's put it back together. Again, make sure that little thing's not broke. That could be very easily broke. Let's hook the electro connection up first. It's keyed, it will only go one way. There's a key. So line up the key and then push it on. It kind of, it goes on a lot easier than it came off. Now we gotta connect, we gotta take this spring. It's connected to something on the other side, but we're gonna loop it right there. And it kind of sinks down in there. And then that kind of snaps in. Now everything's in and free. And I can put these screws back in. Okay, so now your your wheel should have a nice spring action to it. And you're ready to put the brush back on and put it all back together and turn it on. Thanks everybody for watching.